What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 6 today because today was the big day this morning. Not too long ago, we just got the official poster for Scream 6. We know the official title for Scream 6. We know that it actually is going to be called what I've been saying since the video started, Scream 6. And we got the first teaser and the first poster again, like I just think I mentioned. But I want to talk about the teaser, of course, first really quickly before I dive into two other things primarily with this video. The teaser was very good it was a short teaser some people again might find it to be underwhelming i thought it was very effective in the sense that it is very ominous it sets up a very eerie vibe early on the moment it begins you get the haunting music the classic logo start appearing for paramount and spyglass uh before we get some very well done aerial shots of new york city and what appears to be taking place on halloween night like we were hearing was going to be occurring in the movie while they were filming out in montreal uh, I believe is again where they were shooting in Canada. So it appears to be Halloween night because we see several people are shown in costumes and just having a good time. A text appears reading in a city of millions on the screen. And then we jump into a subway sequence where we have Josh Segura, Josh Segura and their nameless character because I don't know what his name is. You then have the characters from Woodsboro, Chad, Sam, Tara and Mindy are present. Also, there are several costumed individuals on this subway present as well, and many of them seem to be dressed as Ghostface. Uh, you can spot these individuals all over because while we're in the subway, it seems that Sam is made uneased or she's un, un she's very nervous about one individual who seems to be watching them and they are again dressed as Ghostface. sam seems to be nervous because she ends up saying guys out loud and they all look up in the direction where one ghost face again seems to be watching them very closely in a very creepy manner i will add uh the lights go out for a brief second and when they come back on mindy is grabbed by Ghostface before her fate is left unknown as the title card appears to confirm again that the title for this upcoming sixth entry in this iconic franchise is scream six where it does what many of us were thinking it was doing it does exactly what viewer non was also saying it would do the m becomes a vi so it's scream six nobody's going to call it scream vi we're going to type it out that way probably but yes it is called scream six now i want to say they did a great job with this teaser. It reminded me so much so of how teasers were when I was younger. Because I know there was a time even prior to that when I was even walking this earth where teasers and trailers, they were similar to what we just got this morning. They were done in this vein. You didn't have what you got with Scream 5. You didn't have what you got with Scream 4. Uh, where you had bits and pieces of the movie to kind of just pick through and put together even though you yourself don't have to do that you're taking it upon yourself to do it uh, because upon one re upon one viewing of any trailer I cannot say I've ever had an experience where I've watched one trailer one time and I knew the whole movie front and back it took me countless rewatches so I wouldn't say movies movie trailers always blatantly spoil as much as they just give you an outlet to put the movie together if you ch decide to pick it apart and do as you please with this you can pick this apart as many times as you want to and you won't have jack there's not a single thing you would have other than maybe coming to the wrong conclusions about mindy's fate or one of the other characters that were on this subway with mindy that's the only thing you get out of this is that mindy is in trouble what will their fate be we will find out when the movie releases in march this is a very well done teaser i appreciate the aerial shots of new york city because when you do stuff like that if we get stuff like that all throughout this movie that's really going to amp up the feeling of isolation and the feeling of suspense and tension when the murders start to kick in and you get this vibe that no one around them seems to really care because they're so preoccupied with their own with their own uh, lives. And just because it's a big city and this stuff to them is normal. This is normal for certain people in New York. I've heard it firsthand from some of my friends who live in New York, some relatives who have lived in New York for a while, even some of you who I'm in a group chat with. This is the norm for certain areas where the crime is just so normal, nobody cares. Uh, definitely, obviously, this teaser gave me vibes of the Jason Takes Manhattan film from Friday the 13th in that entry because of the way we see Ghostface interacting on that subway. Who knows what type of damage will be caused when they snatch up Mindy or if anyone even take it seriously. That's another thing I'm interested to see. But very phenomenal teaser. I love the aesthetic of the movie too. The movie looks gorgeous. It looks like a very, it looks more authentic, I would say, as opposed to some of the stage work that we know was heavy with Screen 5. It looks like they used a lot more offstage work 
actual locations as we saw when they were filming so i'm eager to see that with complete context once this movie rolls out because that was a very well done teaser now the poster that we got as you see here on your screen another good poster that i would say it has the tagline that we know it was leaked a few days ago new york new rules you have ghost face behind the subway uh appearing or looking into a subway holding a knife and this is a very good poster some people might have their negative thoughts about the poster and that's fine but uh i also want to chime in on this brief synopsis even though we already knew about this this was in the uh description of the trailer it says in a city of millions no one hears you scream follow the latest ghost face killings the four survivors leave woodsboro behind and start a fresh chapter in scream six so we also know this tidbit that I will just share, share about Gail Weathers. If you don't want any spoilers that, again, I would say are comparable to knowing the grass is green, click away. Apparently, Gail is going to have another confrontation like she's had previously in other entries, specifically the first two, with Sam Carpenter and a tag team partner. Now, you can go ahead and already make your safe assumption of who this tag team partner is. Where is this info coming from? This is coming from viewer Anon, who tweeted this out a few days ago, saying that Gail has learned to dodge a punch. So someone is going to take a swing at Gail. Someone else also chimed in in the comment section, saying, indicating that it would be Sam. Viewer Anon kind of re, kind of re affirmed their statement so you should expect sam to try to take a swing on gail now why is she trying to take a swing on gail that answer will be revealed in the movie unless someone decides to leak it online uh to my knowledge i think it's a very good rational reason for why she takes a swing on gail but you'll see why she ultimately ends up doing that when the movie releases uh that's really all i wanted to share let me know what you guys thought about the teaser down in the comment section below what do you think about the poster what do you think about the tagline even though i know a lot of you already knew this stuff i knew it too because someone decided to leak it this teaser actually didn't even manage to avoid leaks because it leaked five or ten minutes prior to its release but i'm glad the hd version came out and i'm glad the official version is here for all of us to enjoy i hope over the course of these next coming hours during during the day we get some official steals get some new cast interviews here's something i do regret we didn't get to see Hayden Pantier and Courtney Cox that's really all I regret but I get again this is not their story this is the story of the new Woodsboro survivors that we just met in screen five but let me know what you guys think about all of this again down in the comment section below what was your favorite moment of this teaser are you pleased with the teaser are you not if you haven't already of course you can go ahead and make sure you just subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts I'm on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.